Here we have the dashboard. It shows an overview of the endpoints that are currently being monitored. Endpoints are routes on your web service. Those are sections of the website that can be individually accessed by your users. The endpoints you see here are only a subset of the endpoints of the web application. The developer selects only the ones he is interested in. If we go from this overview to requests per endpoint, the dashboard will render a graph that shows the number of requests per day. On the y-axis we have a list of dates, while on the x-axis we have a number of requests for that date. For some days the number of requests is quite low, while for other days there are peaks. Take for example June 28th of this year. We can also see the distribution of the requests for each day over the monitored endpoints. This will give insight in the most and least used ones. If we move on to the time per endpoint section, the dashboard will render a graph of the execution times for every endpoint. On the left hand side we have the same list of monitored endpoints, while on the x-axis we have the execution time in milliseconds. This graph shows that there are endpoints that have high performance, but there are also ones that have lower performance. The median execution time for this endpoint is about 4 seconds, while half of the requests take even longer. This is an indicator for the developer to try to improve the efficiency of this specific endpoint. Let's go back to our overview. Here we can see for every endpoint that is monitored the number of hits it has gotten. The number of hits for this particular endpoint is the highest and so we will inspect this endpoint further. Let's check out the time per version graph. On the left hand side we have the git commit hash with its corresponding timestamp. On the x-axis we have the execution time in milliseconds again. If we zoom in a bit, we can clearly see that since the versions starting on June 11th, the performance of this specific endpoint decreased a bit. Previously, the median execution time was about 60 milliseconds, while now it is about 100 milliseconds. This reflects the change that the developers made to this endpoint since they added some additional functionality in the version of June 11. Therefore, this new version will take a bit more time to execute. This concludes the short overview of the dashboard.